Just in time for Halloween, Hampton Bay's own resident ghost hunter Joe Giaquento conducted his first live radio ghost investigation at the Ripe Art Gallery in Greenlawn. The show aired October 27th on The Spirit Connection, the weekly blog talk radio series which is co-hosted by Joe and author Carrie Ann Flanagan Broski. We felt that there was a lot of energy here. You could feel it when you come in here. It's a living energy. It is a gallery of souls. We hear sounds all the time. I, granted, the restaurant next door is very noisy, but we do hear sounds all the time, and we don't know what, you know, it could be, it, it could be anything. Ghost investigation, more going out to collect random data. You're going out and just seeing what the energy is. You're going from room to room. It's more of a walk-around thing. And I think there, the, it, it was fun tonight because we got a little bit of everything. We did... We started off with a general thing. Everybody got involved, interactive. They got to experiment with the divining rods and the ghost meters. We, we had this ghost meter beeping, which was, I thought was a lot of fun. In fact, the most compelling evidence for unexplained phenomenon that was captured on video that night occur here. For some reason, there's unexplained flash patterns that happen around the ghost meter. We're going to explore the building. Well, you guys are really excited yeah. here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a button here. Press Joe it. also captured audio recordings of electronic voice phenomena, also known as EVPs, in response to questions that were posed. Is there a spirit that's connected to this old frame? And this EVP was in response to a question about Joe's spirit photography artwork on display there. Do you like Joe's spirit photography here in the gallery? Another compelling moment caught on video and audio was this knock test to try and get the spirits to respond audibly by knocking on the wall. I heard something. Did you hear that back? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I was just right. That was, that was right. We did get a lot of nice activity. Um, for one was in what was the scary room uh, downstairs. Uh, we had a lot of uh, ringing of bells. Um, we've had footsteps coming closer and closer into the room at which we were, we were sitting in complete darkness. Um, there was a lot of like very, not, not haunting feeling, just a very uh, strong feeling of there is some, there is some kind of spiritual activity. Medium Richard Scholler, a good friend of the show, was also there. He says he was able to detect and make contact with one of the ghosts. I felt a gentleman literally come up the stairs and stand behind me. And Joe said, yeah, well, we picked up on some things. And I sort of did a thumbs up like, yeah, I'm getting this man here. Now, the man is not inhabiting the space. He's not living in the space. But he used to be a part of the space when it was a previous store. His general demeanor was benevolent, it was open-hearted, and he was just checking and happy to see what's going on here. From a standpoint of haunted, in the classical sense, it's not very haunted. It's a spiritual place. It's a place where probably a, the best venue would be to sit and do a, a, a meeting, a, a reading, you know, like a group reading or a private reading, because there's so many spirits here that will come through for, for the, the residents or the visitors. So I, I think from a haunting, when you think of a ghostly, spooky place, it's not at all. It's just the opposite. And in response to doing a live ghost investigation on the radio, Giaquento says this is definitely something they have to do again. I think we learned a lot from it. I, I really like the open mic, the live speaker. Uh, that was fun. Everybody could chime in and dialogue back and forth. Uh, sometimes the shows, you know, Carrie Ann and I are, are talking. It's nice to get mix it up with other people. I think we're going to do more of these in the future. To hear the full broadcast, you can check out the website, Blog Talk Radio slash Carrie Ann and Joe Show. For more information about Giaquento and his ghost investigations, you can check out his website, joegpi.com. Chris Kalar, reporting.